Hello everyone, Excel Prof here. Today we talk about an interesting searching problem. The title is how to search for multiple keywords from a list. So here is a problem that I was uh, dealing with a few days ago. I have a, a list of candidates applying for a job and uh, I'll have them uh, basically uh, write whatever they think their expertise are. So it could be a list of words as you can see here. What I'm looking for is, uh, are those candidates that have uh, expertise in artificial intelligence, AI. Um, the problem here is, of course, since this is a freehand writing, they can enter uh, whatever keywords. So I need to list a number or multiple uh, keywords that uh, fits the domain of AI. For example, I listed here machine learning, artificial intelligence, or large language model. The list goes on, but the task here is that I want to search for those all those keywords, and as long as someone entered any of them, it return a hit for me. Okay, so that's the goal. Now I have the end result here, but let me uh, walk you through the thinking process one step at a time. So okay, so let's search for just one keyword and see if we can do it, and. I settled on county and I'll show you how to do it. So we see the basic um, formula is count if from this cell. In fact, because I searched the whole column, I'm going to press F4 a few times to settle the column A. And um, the criteria, let's just start and see if it works. Machine learning is keyword G5. Did it work? Let's see. Oh, no. Um, but you can see here, there is a machine learning keyword here. So what's what's happening? Well, this is by default, if you just enter machine learning, it's going to be an exact match. So as you can see, this is not exact match. What we want to know is search within. So the solution is just to add wildcard, the asterisk mark, uh, symbol be, uh, in the front and in the back of this keyword. So syntax are quote asterisk quote ampersand so link them as a text and in the back ampersand quote unquote asterisk all right so let's see if we return a hit all right now it return a hit it's a one okay that's good now we can find any keyword a uh, particular one here is machine learning what if I want to find all three of them? Well, would it work if I enter um, G5 to G7? Let's see. Oh, what happened? G5, G7. OK, now it includes a whole list. But something curious is happening. There's here, it has this particular cell has machine learning, that's a one. It does not have artificial intelligence and does not have large language model. So it, it gave me an array uh, in return. So that's not convenient because I want to search through all columns and this is in the way. So it's spilled over. But there's a simple fix because I just want to see whether how many hits there are. I'm going to get a sum of those columns, the one zero zero. So let's see. Now it is return a one, meaning that the, out of the three keywords, it found one hit. In this case, it's machine learning. All right. So I'm gonna do some uh, fixing here. Now the keywords are not going anywhere. So I'm going to press F four. And I'm ready to double click and see if I got all of them. OK, now you can see that it was successfully um, catching those keywords. In the, for example, this keyword, this candidate entered large language model machine learning. That's my keyword, two of them. So return two. OK, so let's see what other key takeaway here. First of all, we use COUNTIF. Second of all, we use array kind of formula to search multiple keywords. 
and uh, and we use sum to collapse those array into a single number. And lastly, remember in the front we used the asterisk as wildcard symbol to search within long texts. All right, that's it. I hope it's helpful. I'll see you next time.